Hey guys, <clears throat> Clumsy here. Welcome back to Clumsy Trucking Fridays. Thursdays for some, but we leave that be. It's Friday for me. Friday and cannot wait for the weekend. How's everybody doing? Thank you for joining. Hope you guys are hearing me fine, seeing me fine. Let me know if there's something weird happening. Except with my face, that's always weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining. Glad to have you guys around. Lots of early birds today. Scotsman the Ever First, we were just talking about you over in Jack's stream. Ask him about it. <laughs> Glad to see you made it, Jay. And yeah, hope uh, everything is fine and feel free to share if it will help. <clears throat> A's and else. Thanks for joining, Calvin. Glad you made it. Patrick, fancy seeing you here. Long time no see, huh? <laughs> Watch Juke, Juke City. Welcome back, man. Red or green wire. Don't think I can be the best source of advice there. Reminds me of that uh, that game. That uh, oh, I forgot the name, but you guys probably know it. That diffusal game. Very nice. Space Hunter, how are you, man? Very early today. Woke up early. Thanks. Appreciate the effort. Yar, Jack. Thanks for the stream again. Enjoyed that one a while ago. Along with all those jokes, which we cannot say here anymore. <laughs> so we leave that there in your stream. Agility G, how are you? Thanks for joining. Waited all night. Well, thank you for waiting and appreciate you making it to this stream. Red wire. It worked. Nice. <laughs> hey, Alex. How are you, man? AV is 10 out of 10. Awesome. Glad to hear. Thank you for joining, guys. I did not share. Let me see your messages. No, I didn't see. I don't see it in chat. Or is that in Discord where you shared it? I I don't have Discord open. <laughs> Talking about Amsterdam a bit. You in Amsterdam. <laughs> and train simulators. We'll talk about that in a bit, guys. We have quite a few number of topics we can discuss today. Hey, Martin. Welcome back. How have you been? Trying to make the best out of the countdown. Ah, now I get it. <laughs> Now it makes sense, thanks. Ah, oh, my goodness. Cousins. Daughters. Husband. Ah, oh, I see. Condolences. To the family. <clears throat> Hope you guys feel better soon. How are you all? I am doing good myself. Uh... Went on a date night yesterday with Mrs. Clumsy. It has been so long since. So happy we can go outside again. Little bit of normalcy coming in to play. We do still need to wear our masks and everything, but I can work with that. I mean, a mask is nothing. Everything else starting to seem normal now. Social distancing rules and everything, but yeah, very responsible. Um, rules in place from the government if I remember correctly we actually did not get any like new cases yesterday well of technically we did but realistically we didn't uh, I'll share more later anyway focusing on the mods nothing really new right now I have not seen much activity I guess a lot of people are currently airborne in flight sim i'm sure i'm not the only one and we'll discuss about that later as well because i do want to get your inputs on that but yeah we do have pro mods here the only change is i updated to release candidate 2 so that was released for the promoters i am part of those promoters huge thanks to pro mods for considering me so just to be clear 2.50 is not out yet for the public still in release candidate stage but we are now in rc2 where there have been more bug fixes okay so we'll continue exploring that so i don't have any other map mods enabled 
we are going still with the M Mercedes-Benz Antos and with the 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 mod for Crash Boom's sound compatibility. So let's load it up. Let's see how it looks. Good day, T-Bird. Welcome back. How are you? We're full size hazard gear. Masks do work. They do work very well. They're not foolproof, but they're like there there are some stats about it. Like if you both wear masks, if you all wear masks, you stop the spread like I don't know, 90 plus percent of the time. So it's not foolproof, but it's more than effective. Oof, all those messy red mods <laughs> triggered. <laughs> For those with OCD, that probably triggered you indeed. You want to get triggered? Look at the log. All the red stuff. Oh, that will come more later. <laughs> triggered. So we are starting off in... How do you pronounce this? I'm going to assume Albania. Albania. If, you're, if you pronounce it the English way, I guess. Looks to be a border here into, what is this uh, country? North Macedonia. So we'll, we're starting from here. We are checking out some of the new areas in Pro Mods 2.50. Elbasan, Elbasani is one of them in Albania. We have something in Montenegro, I think, as well. I think it is this one, Bar. And then we have new areas in Croatia. Dubrovnik, very famous tourist destination, I believe. And uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure which one it is. Pl Ploche. This one, I think. Is new? No, it's existing. Mostar. This is new. These two, I think. So what we'll do is we'll start from Albania. We'll go and uh, get into some of the existing areas in Promos 250 just to get a vibe of it. And unfortunately, we'll have to fly because there is no road directly connecting these two. So we'll have to fly to Bar and make our way north and explore the other new areas. That's the initial plan and then we'll see from there where we go. I am doing good. Thank you. Unsub. <laughs> hey, blah. Yar. How's it been? Heard you, you've been doing emergency services for... Two of the people in this stream while playing Ghost Recon. Is that the game? Hi from Russia. Hey Onyx. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoy your time here. More than welcome. <clears throat> Material terrain red errors. I always get those. I just ignore them by now. Choosing wheel. G27 or T150. I'm not familiar with the Thrustmaster products, but I can say that I am very fond of the G27. That's what I'm using. No complaints here at all. So that's my only input. It's a bit one-sided, but I'm pretty happy. And no, I'm not using natural locks. I know if someone will be asking that. I will not be using natural locks in the immediate future. Uh, I'm still thinking how I can do that without becoming tech support for NL. <laughs> Because <laughs> the moment I enable NL in the channel, people will start asking questions and I will spend half my time doing tech support. Now, the wheel is super stiff. One second. Um, SDK reload. Looks like there are some errors in the textures here or in the model. And there we go. A crash. Hey, voila. <laughs> Very good way to start the stream. Looks like this will be a troubleshooting stream after all. Hang tight, guys. We'll get there. All part of the modding world. <clears throat> Don't even want to play the vanilla version of ETS 2. I can definitely relate with that. Especially in the older areas, right? Load it up again. <clears throat> Festive season is coming soon in India, so people will again ignore social distancing and cases will rise. Out. Yikes. Hang tight. Stay safe. How are the numbers there now? 
Have you started flattening the curve or still still climbing? Yes, G27. G29 is very nice. It's very practical as well. Yeah. Duke City's point is very good. It has very nice buttons on the wheel. Very functional. It looks a bit more like a toy. But if you don't mind the looks, it's very functional. So G27, I think if you ever find one, it might be very expensive because it's not in production anymore. G29 might be more affordable, maybe even. <clears throat> G27 has better pedals. Oh, I see. Yeah, if you're if you're not racing, the pedals might not be such a big deal, or maybe I'm just not very picky with that. Let's see if this time it works. Off to a great start today. I think I'll need Blast Emergency Services even here. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Alright, wheel is not super stiff anymore. Um, yeah, something feels weird with the plugin. Anyway, we'll try. I did start noticing this the other day. I like the pedestrians as chilling, taking their time to cross. Yeah, I'm not sure if the force feedback plugin is working actually. I might have to check that. Um, if I look at controls, force feedback should be off because the SDK should be the one taking care of it. One second, huh? Let me see and open this one. So if I open the Logitech profiler. Yeah, there's like a dead zone in the middle right now, which feels a bit weird. Or is it maybe just I spent too much time with a yoke? <laughs> the feel of the wheel is different for me now. Let's try an SDK reload again, see if it will crash. Yes, it will. Yeah, for some reason, it seems like the force feedback plugin is acting strange. Not sure if there has been an update for it. Have you guys encountered something similar? Well, I guess we can live with it. It's not like the, it's not a total um, immersion breaker. It just feels weird. <clears throat> still use an old Xbox 360 steering wheel. Oh yeah, I, I read that you were planning on buying a new wheel, right? Have you decided on anything yet? Could be because of too much flying, I think so. <laughs> At least I do have my pedals set up correctly. The other pedals are set aside for now. Maybe I should use my yoke for driving. The built-in FFB is better now. Did they update it? Did they change it at all? We can try it out. Curve is flattening, but still not thousands. Still not thousands of cases are still increasing daily, like US in Brazil. I see. <clears throat> Yikes. I hope it gets better. Is anyone using the force feedback plugin for Logitech wheels? Are you guys experiencing any strangeness? They made some changes to the controller options and eye tracking things. Oh, maybe that's it. Let's see if there are errors in the force feedback back, um, plugin. Maybe that's why the SDK is not working. No, you have Thrustmaster. I might have to remove it. <clears throat> well, let's try it. Let's do make this a troubleshooting stream, guys. Hang tight with me, okay? Because this might actually be useful for some people who are in the same boat as I am. So what I'll do, let's save this. Let's not wait for it to crash. Let's quit this. What I'll do is I'll remove the force feedback plugin temporarily from the the, the folder. So normally you drag that to your ETS2 and ATS folder the inside the the bin x64 win x64 plugins there is a real g27 force feedback plugin in there that you put in so let me move that out for now 
So my expectation is if I move that out and I get back into the game, I should not have any force feedback at all. That's my impression. And it does seem like that because right now I have something, but I think it's only the centering spring. I think that's what I was feeling. The centering spring that's built into the the wheel. My expectation is when I enable this force feedback inside the game, I should start feeling that now here. So we'll see if that improves. Planning on buying one but you had an issue with your truck. So your budget for the wheel is gone to replace the part. So the wheel will have to wait a few months. Ah, I see, I see issue with your truck truck in real life what truck is that did you have to do emergency services for your own truck all right yeah it does feel weird so force feedback let's enable that there we go now i cannot feel anything anymore absolutely zero oh there you go you can see the wheel turning so no force feedback at all there let's see if i drive this if this will change hopefully will kick in once we get into the truck there we go yeah I have something so it does feel stiff when the truck is off when you turn it on there we go it loosens up now it has been years since I played with force feedback in the built-in force feedback so I'm not really sure how to compare it but so I'm not sure if something changed there, but at least this is working. It does feel a bit shaky. It feels a bit light, but at least there is something. Yeah, it, 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 it feels grindy. You know, when you turn the wheel, normally you would expect it to be smooth. It feels like there are like teeth that are getting hit. It's so weird. I'm not sure if that's really how it should be. I'm just using the default, everything at default, like 100% or something. So anyway, this is Albania. I like how it looks. It looks so real with all its like buildings that are worn out and everything all the signs very nicely done here and this is all very optimized engine shake will be too high ah oh yeah you are familiar with default force feedback huh engine shake this one force feedback engine so if i turn that down to how much this one like that maybe hey sky how are you oh you are a genius 15 percent where, where did i set it as I'll, I'll lessen it a bit more this is great okay thank you 15 percent and then i'll have to look at the force feedback plugin later the thread i'm sure someone has complained about it maybe something like that Few sensors have fallen apart on your pickup, so the engine was running really rough. 25 year old sensors lasted rather well. Ah, I see. <clears throat> well, glad you managed to fix it. But now it feels like I don't have any force feedback at all. Huh, I might have to tweak that. Um, what can which setting can I change to make the wheel firmer? So right now it is very loose. I can use my small finger to steer this, which may be how it should be in reality. Did you see that truck merge into that car? I feel bad for that car now. Let's turn off the music. Enjoy the quiet ambiance of the growling truck. Actually, you know what? I think I'd like it a bit louder. There you go. 
that should actually be a lot more immersive than having music in there overall feedback at the top how high do you have this overall feedback the gain uh, I can increase that to max just to see how different it will be oh that's amazing free workout I love it I do feel the teeth again though <laughs> this is cool oh, okay uh, we'll, we'll try this one we'll keep it sorry guys I know doing a lot of S curves here Sorry about that. I think I muted in time though. Alright, let's pick this up. Anyway, so yes, last night, finally was able to go on a date night with Mrs. Clumsy. We were stuck at home for a couple of months, almost never going out. And uh, it's just been such a refreshing thing to go out and see the people outside again. Lots of people actually are going out now. Still not as plenty, but lots of people are. Don't tell me it will crash. <gasps> Come on. <clears throat> Come on. What now? Okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> Never had force feedback. You must use that setting with old trucks since the, some don't have power steering. Yeah, that makes sense. The windows don't work, unfortunately. So they would remain as is. You would hear the, uh, the sound of the windows, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see, if it, replic if it goes to error again, I'll look at the log. <clears throat> I hope it's just the uh, fiddling with the force feedback and stuff. <clears throat> Pro mods 250 beta. Do not redistribute. I know Sky. That is so cool, right? I did the same thing. That's the first thing I did. I was like waving, waving here, like seeing if I could see myself in the sim. And <laughs> self-waving. <clears throat> Are we here again? Wow. No save at all. That's brutal. Okay, at least the force feedback settings did save, but now I don't have any track IR. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's work with this for now. Because we were we were checking. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that the force feedback is intense. When you get going through those humps. Climbing some curbs. <clears throat> I wonder what happened with the force feedback plugin. So no one else is using that right now? Have a look later no wonder it felt weird when i recorded that silent trucking video in ats i already started feeling that like the wheel seemed off like dead force feedback in the center so i think i was mainly working with the centering spring there and the force feedback plugin was not working at all probably got affected with the update so before i trigger that point I will save and if doesn't if it doesn't work then we'll move straight away to a different place <clears throat> do you think ETS2 can implement the same concept I don't think so in terms of satellite images they don't have that they don't have those resources I don't think implementing like AI well, I guess they do implement that to some aspect for vegetation already, but I don't think they can do that in that scale. 
And also because it's a one is to one. I mean, not not one is to one, but because we're so low on the ground, we need so much more detail. And I don't think AI can build all these details automatically. They really hand to hand f fix some stuff. <clears throat> the force feedback plugin does not feel so natural, though. I don't think it has been improved so much. I mean, sorry, the, the, the built-in force feedback doesn't feel so natural. <laughs> like it clicks and does weird stuff at times. It's, I'll monitor it and see. Right, quick save here before we do anything else. Oh, nice. Is that in Discord? I'll copy that. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Cargo market. That's the one. Take the job. And it crashes. This might be pro mods related. Yeah, so looks like we'll have to look for something else. Let's have a look at the game log quickly. Uh, troubleshooting stream for the win. Game log. Um, win slave thing it's not really index outside array boundaries I think that's not really the issue itself no there is no other error garage spawn point I think those are pretty basic yeah All right, let's look for something else. Maybe we can go to another area and see. Well, that sucks. All right, let me open up the stuff here. Force feedback settings. Thanks a lot, Jack. I saw it. Also, you have it all the way forward as well. Nice. Okay, let me open that up. <clears throat> Yeah, and the index array error, yes. What is the reason for that? <clears throat> I was wondering why your window looked a bit different. <clears throat> You're using the Sizzle UI mod, huh? That looks pretty nice, actually. Flat UI thing. For those interested in seeing that image, that is in Discord. If you're not there yet, exclamation point Discord gets you there in the truck sim channel. <clears throat> hey Sab. How are you man? Welcome back. More a realistic feel in the truck than in ETS2. So if I do this thing. It would look like, so that one is full. Stiffness should be around here. Centering should be around here. Engine is right there. Terrain is like that one. Uh, dampers would be something like this. Collisions would be something like that. Something like that. Alright. Thanks a lot, Jack. <laughs> Let me save that before it crashes again. Alright, save it. Let's go and pick another job. Um, let's go to the new area in bar. Pretty light, but it doesn't relate exactly in game. Okay, thanks. That's a good starting point. Then I can adjust based on personal preference. <clears throat> Let's try a new city. Hopefully, they did, this did not destroy the entire stuff for me. 
we'll see. Maybe trying out a new city again won't be the wisest, but... Barcelona. <laughs> how, how do I go there? Go to bar. Look at that, too many map items detected using slow path position thingy. How do you spell that bar? That's a... I guess it's spelled differently, this one. Um, um, bap? <laughs> Let me try if it's bap. No, there is nothing there. So what I can do is I can just fly there. It's close enough, I think. Troubleshooting stream for the win. So head northwest. This is just like flying. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. So this should actually be in Montenegro already, if I remember correctly. So let's go here. Fix our truck. Remember, I have lots of damage there. Garage fast travel, that also works, but it kind of moves time and sometimes you end up at night. <clears throat> Alright, let's pick a job over here. <clears throat> How do I read our name? Let me see if I can read something. Maybe I call you Clown? Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Race someone. Might not be the best for me with my slow reflexes. Now if he can go somewhere, that will be great. Go somewhere north, that one is perfect. So we'll pass by Dubrovnik. We can pass by Mostar as well. Yes, let's take that. Pesto. Like me some pesto. Would be nice if we can also go but to Zagreb so let's take that instead because I think Zagreb has been rebuilt all right I'll quick save here let's try if I can take a job from here if not there might be something wrong with my profile oh I would hate that <laughs> That works. So there seems to be a bug in um, what they call this. Seems to be a bug in Albania. Can take a job there. This is why we don't release that yet. Oh, this is yeah. This is very light. Do I have force feedback? Wow, this is interesting. Is this how a da feels? So high tech. Problem with the map. Where did you tell me? I saw the index array error. Are you asking, but you didn't tell me anything else after that? Um, yeah, I got stuck. Let's go and fix that. I think some of your messages, Jay, are not coming through. How long ago that also happened? does feel a bit light for my preference. I think I like it a bit more free workout kind. <laughs> Might have to tweak this a bit. Yeah, that should work. Which problem? That's new, huh?
Index error error might be due to map mode problem. Okay, thanks. There we go. Okay, I feel it here. When I start it, that becomes very light. Let's see when we get faster. Maybe it will be a bit more with what I'm expecting. Open the windows, turn off the music, enjoy the chill vibe of the city. You can add more dampening and stiffness. I think I like that. Alright, let me fine tune it one more time. Sorry about this, guys. I know it breaks the momentum, but once we get things in a proper place, then we should have it. Dampening and stiffness. So this is the da stiffness. Let's put that back in the middle. And dampening, let's put that back there. I don't even know the difference of them. Let's just put that there. Hey Geek Squad, how have you been? Thanks for joining. There we go, I can feel something in there. That's nice. Thank you. It could also be because we're using a different wheel that the same force feedback settings might give us a different overall feel. Didn't think of that before. When you're playing while offline, do you play music or radio? Um, yes, but mostly podcasts. I love listening to podcasts while driving. And recently, I started listening to podcasts while flying. <laughs> when I'm flying, why did this guy stop? When I'm flying straight and level, everything trimmed out and just chilling, enjoying the scenery. Then I can listen to podcasts and absorb enough. I don't have to focus too much on the flying at that point. Looks good. Yes, Space Hunter got it. <laughs> you know it. I'm actually getting a bit of backlog in my favorite podcasts because I've been catching up. I've been splurging in too much Flight Sim 2020 videos before the release. So, kind of built up. My favorite podcast release like three times a week. Episodes. One of them and then one of them releases one every week those build up fast if you don't consume them immediately oh that is nice I like this feeling like a bit of rough feeling as you turn here the roundabout with the force feedback quite nice nice area here I like it so it looks like a very chill place place when he records <laughs> with trucking recently yeah the only time I truck is when I'm recording otherwise I spend most of my free time flying at the moment lots to learn lots to explore top five podcasts uh, not sure if it will be in the same one that you guys are referring but I mostly listen to financial podcasts personal finance podcasts Stacking Benjamins is something I really recommend because it teaches you something without teaching you something explicitly. It's like they're just having fun, laughing at each other, but you pick up a few things. They're like a comedy-based podcast that has personal finance as topics. It's very relatable, very... Uh, it doesn't like preach at you, if you get what I mean. They're just like friends talking with each other, making fun of each other, having fun, and then you get to learn a few things in the process. <clears throat> I'm liking this force feedback now. In higher speeds, the force feedback starts to fight you, and I can feel the resistance building up as we go faster. And as we go through these windy roads, Sure, we'll feel that a lot better. 
dampen and pushes against you as you turn the wheel. Ah, so maybe this is what I'm feeling right now. This is feeling like a workout. I love it. Stiffness makes the FFB feel more tough in any direction you turn. Ah. Interesting, but this one, yes, definitely something I like. But the only thing I don't like is when you are stopped like this. It doesn't. So there's almost nothing. Almost no resistance there. But once you start building up speed, it becomes very good. Have a good night, Martin. Thank you for hanging out with us. Sorry for the troubles in the beginning of the stream. Catch you in YouTube. We mostly listen to tech podcasts. Oh, that makes sense. So are there lots of topics about the like NVIDIA graphics card rumors and stuff? What tech podcast do you listen to the most? It's your favorite. Oh, this is very nice. Wow. You know that photo I shared yesterday, guys, in Discord, in the Flight Sim channel? I know I share a lot of photos there, but the one yesterday with the Cessna, 172 overlooking like on the coast that's actually over here because I saw that ProMods released a blog post about the southern Balkans I saw Dubrovnik it sounded very familiar to me because one of my friends went there in real life and they had uh, they really had a good time there it was beautiful they said and so I wanted to see it for myself so I went on the sim and flew there it was breathtaking and I think the same vibe, the same scenery is starting to come up here. We are just tracing the coast here. If you look to our left, I believe that should be the coast. What sea is that? Separating this and what? Italy? Very busy city area. I like it. Oh, that force feedback. I'm enjoying this now. It really scales up. Beautiful. Rocket League. Ah, that's one game I haven't tried before. I would probably suck so bad at it. Adriatic Sea. That one, there you go, there you go, a little bit of uh, vitamin C in there. Oh, this is a nice tunnel. Oh, I like. Let's take a photo here. How do, how we can we take a photo? Let me see. Most favorites is The Verge. Ah, I think I follow them in Facebook. If that's the same Verge, the logo is like the V. Right. Uh, the funky colored V. Oh, how do we take a photo? It would have been nice. Well, we can take a photo a bit. I wish there was no like foliage there so we can look outside the sea directly. Yikes. <clears throat> you should talk about political issues regarding tech industry. Ah. I see. Have you guys heard about that? Um, what was it? Epic? Epic um, apps. Was it Fortnite or something? Epic Store? Getting pulled out of the App Store? I think that's a bit of a big issue right now. Uh, beautiful. Let's take a photo. Where? Over here when this cliff opens up. Here maybe. Sorry, one more time. Hey, HUD! Glad you made it, man. No more classes. How have you been? We are exploring Montenegro on our way to Croatia, to Dubrovnik. It's not half bad. Fortnite. Yeah, I think that's because in the App Store they have a clause where you should not monetize any way outside the App Store. And I think they built uh, something like 
purchasing via the Epic Store or something along those lines. So Apple pulled out their apps. I just saw it in the headlines. Not headlines, but in the article titles. But I haven't really gone into detail on that. So yeah, anyway. With uh, my date night yesterday with Mrs. Clumsy, I think I gained a kilo just from that. So much eating and drinking. We missed going out so much. It still feels different. Even if you can have like fancy food delivered to your doorstep, there is still something uniquely, how do you say, enjoyable and going somewhere and having that different ambiance, that different vibe. Having tasty food, having that uh, chill but relaxing and uh, comfortable vibe that you're not in your house. It's a very nice feeling. And yeah, we had quite a bit of... Uh, I think we started off with like cold cuts and cheese. That's supposedly the end of it, but we <laughs> couldn't end there and we ordered like a whole four cheese pizza to top it all off, like as dessert. <laughs> Is that Dubrovnik already? Might be. This does look a bit familiar. Looks like we'll have to take a port as a ferry as well just to cross this one. Interesting. Oh, I like this. This is so nice so scenic feels like we're on vacation hey chuck welcome it's a greedy apple too much truck <laughs> epic is going against apple and fortnite has been taken from app store yikes let's see how that progresses thankfully we're not invested in those now i have a feeling we'll need cutscenes for this one so I'll make sure that cutscenes are enabled just to be on the safe side. So we are sure we're not missing anything. Gameplay. Cutscenes are shown. That's good. If you ate something you missed eating. Pizza. <laughs> Embark. Oh no. No animation. I was expecting we would be having like that f moving ferry in Romania. Okay, but basically, we where where we, did we go? Where were we? We were in that side. We just crossed this one. Interesting. I wonder why they didn't just build a bridge. Maybe it's only temporary. Oh, I love that sound. Hungry already. This is Pro Mods yes, two fifty. Welcome to the stream, Chuck. Thanks for joining, man. How are you? Yeah, I miss the overall vibe of the restaurant feels. And the best thing of all, Mrs. Clumsy treated me. Maybe that's why it's so tasty. <laughs> Nothing beats free, beats free food. say no to that <clears throat> although we'll see if there will be like earrings involved later on <laughs> so getting a few of those stutters my goodness this looks so nice so vacationy vibes I'm not sure where we are now. Let's see. Novi? Dubrovnik is straight ahead. Okay. Maybe we'll get to see the airport. The airport should be this way as well. It, the airport near in Dubrovnik is near the coast, somewhere here. So, and if you like travel continue traveling northwest you will arrive in Dubrovnik so it's to the southeast of the area so like if this is Dubrovnik I guess the airport is somewhere here 
So maybe we'll see some planes fly by. If I'm getting my geography correctly, maybe somewhere here should be the airport. Beer, wine, or spirits guy. I used to be a beer guy. But we since started this keto diet, which we don't really follow anymore. That's why we gained so much weight again. But uh, yeah, since then we've moved from beer to wine. I'm not a spirits guy though. I don't appreciate it yet. Maybe that means I'm not yet that old. <laughs> no, but uh, wine. Mostly we have wine. Welcome back, Scotsman. Mead. <laughs> you should have some mead next week, chat. You should have some ready for that special stream. And yes, I think I can install the hunter now and join you guys on Thursday. Well, Friday for me. Because I have now, for those who haven't seen yet, I have now uninstalled X-Plane. I'm happy enough sticking with Microsoft Flight Simulator for now. And yes, I will miss those study level planes. But I don't think even if I get study level planes, if, but I, I get back that weather from X-Plane, I might just get frustrated. So I'd, I'd rather stick with what Microsoft Flight Simulator has to offer. <clears throat> Yay! Game of Thrones filming location. Ah, might be. Is Dubno Dubrovnik where they shot um, King's Landing? Which scene was that? I can't remember exactly. Maybe we'll get to see it here. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Yes. Last night, went for a date. Finally got out of the house. Ate at a nice Italian restaurant. Food was so good. And the servers were so polite. They seemed very happy to have customers again. It's it's nice to see that the business is booming again. It's like the the restaurant was filled, as filled as it can be given the social distancing measures. It's quite nice to see. <clears throat> Thoughts on Train Sim World 2? I, I should ask you that, Scotsman. Because I actually got a key, guys. They gave me a key for Train Sim World 2. But I told them I am a bit uh, loaded at the moment, so I cannot check it out yet. But I am planning to do so soon. But I wanted to hear... Oh, is that Montenegro flag? Nice. But I want to check it out as well, although I wanted to get your inputs first. Because initial impressions I've heard are not very good in terms of why is it a new game totally when it can be an update. So it, like first impressions, some people are saying it's like a money grab. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, it feels that way. For based on the comments, but I haven't checked it out for myself yet. A lot of King's Landing was Dubrovnik. Nice. Maybe we'll get to see some of that stuff here. Yeah, it was Bruno's. Yeah near Payalibar. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. So much fun. I told Mrs. Clumsy, Clumsy we should do that once a month. At least. No, once a month because it was quite pricey. It's not sustainable to do more often than that. Um, and she said yes. So I'm hoping she also said yes to treating me every month. I'm not sure if that was part of the package. <laughs> Probably not. But one can hope. So we'll see. Italian food is your favorite cuisine as well. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, I'm just imagining it again. Can't wait till the next month. We are back in the European Union. In Croatia. Specifically, Kravatska something along those lines I am liking these mountains and yes I think I flew over these yesterday yeah 
I was doing a bit of research for this stream, flying over stuff first. There should be a fancy tall bridge. I'm not sure if it's implemented here, but I actually flew below that bridge. That's why I remember it. And that's when I took the photo. So uh, I'll point it out when we see it. Maybe it's here. But yeah, it's actually quite nice flying over it first, seeing how the real thing looks, at least from the sim's point of view, and going here, seeing how close they were able to make it, given the different scale of things. Four kilometers away from Dubrovnik, we're almost there, guys. That's my excuse now for flying and doing research. Don't bet on that. <laughs> I think that's safe. Yeah, I don't think I can either. I can still hope. If you don't want the key, then give it to me. <laughs> so you're excited for it. What are you excited about it most? Maybe you can hype me for it. <clears throat> Did you see the first lockdown concert that took place in the UK? Three people in a cage. Wow, really? I haven't seen that. I hope they had social distancing measures in place. It does seem like it from the sound of it. Getting hungry now. <laughs> uh, they'll probably complain Pile Bar is too far away. There is another branch. I think there are three branches of Bruno's in Singapore. There should be somewhere in the west, or at least in the center. Yeah, I think the one in Pailebar is not their main branch. And there is outside seating in those other branches. So I think if you're feeling paranoid about eating indoors, sitting outside can be a possibility. Is that the airport? Airport should be somewhere along the coast, but I can't spot it here. Maybe we went past it already. From what you heard, the game is better optimized. Train Sim World 2? It's great to hear. Yeah, maybe it's worth a try. Now that I have hard drive space, I can actually install it. I'll give it a go and see. No, we, we sat inside. That branch we went to didn't have outside seating, unfortunately. Oh, this is nice overlooking the city from here. Once these bu bushes go away, that is... These are too tall. There you go. Let's take a photo there because that city looks majestic. I think we're seeing King's Landing here now. Let's have a look. Get some music in. There it is, King's Landing. I guess? I want, No, I'm not sure exactly which part they took for King's Landing, but that does look nice. have the brightness issue but yeah if you look down like this that works perfectly can work with that love those arrangements of houses there i think the bridge might be oh i'm not sure we'll see Lucky Plaza for Filipino food. We did before, not so much though because it's so far away. <gasps> this might be it guys. Yeah, this might be it. This might be that bridge. And yeah, I think this is the photo I took. If you look in Discord Flight Sim channel, you'll see a photo of me in a Cessna 172. You see water and lots of nice cities overlooking it. That was actually when I went past the bridge. So I was coming from the right to left under the bridge. And as I went past this bridge, I stopped there where where my side mirror is. Oh yeah, this is it for sure. This is it. So I came from that side. So there, there. <laughs> uh, bridge shot. This is beautiful. Now the, the bridge is not this 
is pretty. Bridges in Flight Simulator are very basic at the moment, but at least there is this tall bridge. At least they got that right. And so what I took, let me show you. Let's go to photo mode here. Uh, this is so nice actually seeing it in both simulators. This is what DH Blan over in YouTube was telling. Would be nice to see and compare places in like in flight simulator and how it looks in the truck simulator. So where I was, I came from there, I looped around this island. So flying over here and then I went under the bridge. It is pretty tall, so quite easy to go under it uh, like that. And then, yeah, that's why there was no ship that time though. So I had a very nice view, but I was basically over like here, maybe somewhere here. I paused the sim and then I had like an angle like that. So you see like the plane was here and those houses were there in the island and the coast that looks so good. Oh, this is so nice. I can actually recognize something if even if I've never been here before. The power of that simulator and the power, the beauty, the detail that they put in in handcrafting this map. Very cool. So take a shot that is as close as possible to it. Oh, I hate that brightness issue. These are the times when I, I wish for natural lux again. Have you guys started using NL again? Any comments? Any bugs? Now that I have hard drive space again, I can probably bring back the NL files into my SSD. Because it is quite heavy. Currently, it's sitting in my hard drive. And I'm not sure if I want to access those files from the hard drive because they might cause more stutters on my end. Person who don't own the game so you can't make your own review. Yeah, I'll have a look. But um, are there new routes involved? What what features do you know are included there? I might I might try one of the new routes. Since you can't really travel at these times, at least you have... Yeah, exactly. This is clumsy is so much craving to travel, but we cannot. And so I, I just uh, asked her to... Yeah, if she wants to fly with me. Fly anywhere she wants. That's the best traveling we can get for now. And it's a great compromise. Like, she wants to go to Korea. Because as, you guys, as I told you guys in the Q&A... I was... We, we are watching a lot of K-dramas recently, Korean dramas. And we're getting influenced with Korean culture and everything. So we now we want to go to Korea. When things are settled down again, we want to go there. But for now, maybe we can fly there and see how it looks. Get a little bit of um, scouting. Do a little bit of scouting. Since you have to take a trip to Kinokuniya in Orchard on Saturday, might as well try this restaurant called Inasal. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Is there like a, what is it called? Mang Inasal or just Inasal? Yeah, Inasal is a very famous um, dish. Call it a dish. Kind of cooking. Quite nice. Yeah, Korea ideally. Just to check out where those K dramas have been. There is something to be said about when you when you like a show and you get to go where they are in the real life. Like, it's like wow, I'm actually here. It's cool. It's somehow similar to what I just experienced, flying over something in flight sim and then driving through that same area in truck sim. There is some level of satisfaction there that I cannot quite explain, but it's uh, it's nice. I like that. For NL, the brightness for you during the day is kind of too much. Uh, yes, that is a common opinion as well. Some people have been saying that, especially in ATS, but even in ETS too at times. I didn't notice it back then so much. Oh, I like this. 
Dubrovnik is so good. Who is the developer here? Let me read up some stuff. Um, mm, I don't see any names in the blog. Unless I missed it. But thank you, whoever you are, for making such an amazing area here in Dubrovnik. We are now in Bosnia and Herzegovina. After we cross there, is it? Nice. Salt Lake City. Nice. Yeah. Right now I'm getting so many comments in the channel. And many of them are asking me to go somewhere. Go to here, go here, go here. And I uh, appreciate the comment, but for sure I cannot uh, I cannot accommodate everyone, so I have to like look and research and see which one would be the best for everyone, considering the constraints. Yeah, every day I check my comments like I don't know twice, three times a day, and every time I check, there will be like twenty or thirty comments. I'll try to reply to each one of them. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, the flight sim hype is really amazing. But I'm enjoying it. It's a good problem to have. That's why Dubrovnik is always swarmed with tourists in summer. Ah, I see. It is quite a famous touristy spot, huh? There we go. Wait a minute. Why are we now only crossing to Croatia? Isn't Dubrovnik in Croatia? Oh, did we cross like a... Did we cross a different country here in between? And why didn't we discover Dubrovnik? Ah, I should have gone off there, I see. Huh. Interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. But I do want to check out Mostar. Mostar. So let's go through here and explore it a bit. Take our time. Interesting. <clears throat> Not in Dubrovnik anymore, technically. I see. So there's been kind of a switcheroo there. Where were we for a time then? Bosnia and Herzegovina? Over to Resim. Uh, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> Although I guess it's a very different picture now, huh? Tricky. were there. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will love it. Roll mods 250. It looks more or less polished, just a few more kinks to iron out. Amazing stuff. Do you guys have any news in the trucking world? I have not been able to keep up with the forum so much. Ow! Snapping for his feedback thing. Gear here. It's interesting. Well, I guess that makes sense because we do have a lot of these bushes. Let's get some retarder in here. Slow down a bit. Beautiful. Alright. Move to the right, but the road is closed, so it's probably not that one. It's this exit here. Right, finally getting to a highway. <laughs> no worries, man. Take your time, bud. No rush. <laughs> 
the Greek terminology. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I try to mix it up. I want to make it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I want to make it like not too technical, I guess, and focus more on the sightseeing, at least initially, and then just bring people up to speed bit by bit on the aviation terms. I'll try to do that more because I think it will be more reachable to people so we won't alienate some part of the community. Hey Slider, how have you been man? Where have you been driving recently? Getting lags in Turkey extension map. Turkey extension. Um, is that the one by... It's in the row X forums, right? I think I tried it. Although I, I, I removed it uh, for now. Because I think some areas are made, but some areas are still a bit raw from the old Turkey map. And I think I'd like it if it's more polished. Like I'd, I'd prefer it to be smaller, but just keeping the polished areas than bigger, but only having a small part of it polished. But that's my personal preference. I like the textures here and this traffic light thing looks customized. Reminds me of Team Reforma having their own traffic lights in every area. Very nice. Middle East add-on videos. Um, is there an update? I don't think I have access to it yet. I did get Pro Mods 250, but I don't think it includes the Middle East add-on. Let's see. Does Tagalog have lots of Spanish words like everywhere? Musta. Yes, como esta. <laughs> yes, we do have lots of them. Some are exactly the same, some are a bit different but uh, very similar like that musta. Like la mesa, a right? table. Or uh, guapo, do you have a guapo in Spanish? I see. No, oh, yeah, they, they didn't give it to me. I'm not sure if I would though because um, I'm not familiar with the places and it is a bit controversial those places. So it's a bit more, um, how do you say, it's a bit more sensitive to feature. So I show it but I don't go into too much detail. Because there could be very different points of view if I like do some research and share something that's happening some people might strongly disagree so it's a bit uh, yeah sensitive is the word we're in Bosnia and Herzegovina again <laughs> Grand Utopia oh yeah that's a great map I love that unfortunately no news about that either I will let you know when I do. Orochevich, welcome back, man. I remember your name, how you pronounce it at least. You have a Filipino teacher at your school. Last name De La Cruz. Yes, we have a lot of Spanish names, definitely. My family name is Spanish. If you have seen me somewhere in Facebook, yeah, my surname is Spanish. And where are we going? I guess straight ahead. Ah, okay, going here first and then going back. Okay, yeah. Controversial places are not included in it. Good to hear. Thanks. Mr. Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of an international guy. Spanish, Chinese, might he even have a hint of Indian, for sure Filipino majority, but lots of mixed ethnicity in my family, I think. 
but mostly Filipino and Chinese, a little bit of Spanish. <clears throat> Definitely slider. Definitely. <laughs> I have, spend, I have been spending most of my spare time in flying. I cannot get enough of it. Just so fun. Flying itself and then exploring areas. I found new appreciation for my own country. Exploring places that sound familiar, which I had no clue about before. But now I have a more visual um, feel for them. And, and I mentioned this in my Mount Pinatubo video for those who haven't seen I like how it how do you say you know that before the GPS days when you need directions to go somewhere and when someone tells you directions it almost never sticks right when they tell you and it only sticks at least that's how it is for me it only sticks for me when I actually drive there when I actually experience it myself how to go there then it sticks how to how the directions work it's somehow similar with the, the flying like someone tells me about Mount Pinatubo it will not stick with me I won't even remember where it is exactly but now that I've flown there I have this personal experience personal virtual experience of going there now I can relate now I can imagine now it sticks and it's just such a nice feeling learning through experience even virtually is still learning through experience in my opinion <coughs> sorry caps <laughs> hey that's greek and norwegian here nice thanks for joining so we have a mercedes-benz stealer hey best trucker how are you sorry guys i'm a bit lagging behind because i'm a bit on a too long monologue You've come to your hometown, met your family after six months. Nice. Optical fiber connection, that will help. Awesome. Well, good thing you can watch me now. How are you watching me right now? Are you still there? Good to hear, good to hear that you have been reunited with your family. I have a colleague in... Oh, it's somewhere in India. I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, it's not Bangalore, or is it? Um, I forgot which part, but yeah, it was the same for them. In his case, he and his wife had to live separately for a while because he's living with his family and his wife's living with her family. So they had to separate for a while and uh, I guess it had something to do with lockdown and social social distancing and whatnot. Super nice in this place. Wow. Very nicely done. Mostar. I guess it was done by the same developer, I'm assuming. Let's have a look around here. 128 British. <laughs> Does that count as British? Close enough, I guess. ETS, you've been driving the Volvo FH16. Nice. Is that the Volvo 2009? The classic or the modern one? Oh, I can't see from above. I can take get a bit more distance here, I guess. Hey, BS Repellent. Track IR indeed. Thanks, Alex. There we go. There's the view I'm looking for. Just have to look down a bit to hide those stuff from the map. Remove the blur, and there we have a nice view. Beautiful. Except for the excess, but I can live with that. Hey, hipster. How are you doing? Glad you made it. Welcome back. Last time I streamed, I almost raided you. But you finished the stream right before. <laughs> Almost, almost. Huh? Thanks for the, thanks for the gesture. <clears throat> Let me stay here in the middle. Oh, I thought this was a roundabout. Apparently not. Okay. Turn left here. You made it indeed. Better late than never, as they say. Why this pro mods? Uh, 
not release the map because people will start complaining people will complain if the map isn't released and people will complain more if there are bugs invisible walls crashing stuff so either they either way they would get complaints so might as well do stuff correctly and then release it unfortunately that is the nature of people people do like to complain Um, now this looks like a dead end, so I think I'll have to loop around here. It's like a nice, spacious parking area. Recognize me in pub public. Fans? What fans? <laughs> no such thing. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, aside from the people I know in real life. I, I have one friend who uh, took a photo with me. He but he, he's my real life friend and uh, he knows that I make videos and he asked for like a, a photo with me I want a photo with Clumsy <laughs> maybe he'll sell it eventually like after a hundred years <laughs> but that's about it Hey Andy, welcome to the stream, doing good man, trucking is perfect, well the driving is not, but the scenery is. <laughs> Bangalore is often called the Silicon Valley of South Asia, yeah, I think so, yes, that makes sense now, yeah, I think we have an office there, so I think some of my colleague, colleagues are based there. Um, Hyderabad, I think. Is that how you pronounce it? I think that's the other place. I think that's where my colleague is living in that area. Experience your own clumsy. Awesome. Thanks for the link, Alex. Get your own mug and stuffs. Get your own shirts, clumsy shirts, which probably don't fit me anymore. Those were a bit on the tighter end before. It fit. Now I guess they would be too fit. <laughs> How much weight I've gotten. I got too close with Mr. Ben and Mr. Jerry. Where are we driving today? We started off in Montenegro. We are we were in Croatia. Now I think uh, I don't know, are we in Bosnia and Herzegovina? Balkans, we are in the Balkans. It's <laughs> probably the safer answer. Hey NL, indeed. Glad you made it. How have you been? What have you been spending your time on recently? If you ever see me by chance, well, let me know. I can take a photo at least. <laughs> at least I can put a face to the name. That would be great. Like many of you guys, we've been hanging out together for the longest time, but I don't know your faces. I know your voices. Like, I think I've never seen Alex before. He hasn't done a face reveal yet. I think that's what we need, an Alex face reveal. Perfect. <laughs> awesome stuff. Hyderabad is near Bangalore but in a different state. Ah, I see, I see. Thanks the info. Maybe we can fly there sometime. Big Ben. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> The Big Ben is in the Orbex add-on for flights in, for London. People were 
really getting angry about it though because of the quality and stuff but it is there I've seen in a video <clears throat> yeah I've seen Jack because of his streams as well I've seen Jay because of his streams but I haven't seen Alex maybe Jack can wish that for his birthday as a birthday gift do an Alex face reveal Perfect. Had a dream last night that you were a truck. Too much ETS. <laughs> oh my goodness. At this rate, maybe I'll dream like uh, I'm a plane. Is 800 kilometers considered a sneer? Is it 800 from Hyderabad to Bangalore? Yeah, I wouldn't consider that near. But maybe because of the size in India, that's not a very far distance. Yikes, it is a bit dark, not the best time to take photos. Comparatively near. The big bench should become a meme at this point. We, we should add uh, an emoji uh, in the Discord for Big Ben. I wonder how we will use it though. Whenever I get something wrong, you'll react Big Ben. I think that will be used plenty enough. <laughs> Hey Rexer, <clears throat> thanks for joining, glad you made it to the stream and thanks for watching on YouTube, I live in Singapore, not sure if you'd recognize me, <laughs> yeah I might look a bit different outside, that is if I ever make it outside the house, probably do that only once a month at, least po at this point. Not near at all, but people from other parts of India don't really know the distance. <clears throat> distance is relative. <laughs> I've had that said in my flight sim video where I shared my mid-range PC. And people, some people were like, mid-range? <laughs> yeah, mid-range can be very subjective. What do you guys think about doing Q&As? Because I, do, I am getting a lot of questions in the Q&A. But what do you think about doing that in the flight sim videos instead of in trucking? I'm a bit torn about it because some people some people aren't into the flight sims. Some people like the trucking videos but not the flying videos for various reasons. But I'm not sure if there would be a common enough intersect. There would definitely be sites. Hmm, I'm not sure. So yeah, let me know if you have thoughts on that one. Because at this point, because of all the hype in Flight Sim and because of how much I want to make videos there, we won't have any Q&As anytime soon. <clears throat> Distance is relative. relative. <laughs> that is the quote of the day right there. First time I heard that one. My goodness. Oh, that is so true though. That is so true. In some, depending on the relative that is, I should be more specific. There was a space in the road there, a gap in the road. You're from the Faroe Islands. Ow! Oh, is that you? I think I remember you from YouTube. Yeah, I think were you asking if the Faroe Islands were in Bromonts? Oi, 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 oi! Well, at least I got a glimpse of how the force feedback is when there's a crash and it is quite strong. It does feel like a crash. <laughs> it 
Kiribati. Yeah, people would be so salty with those from Kiribati. Where is Kiribati anyway? First time I heard of that place actually, not familiar with it. I guess it has the most advanced time zone, UTC plus 12, I don't know what is the biggest one. I did feel it, yes. <laughs> East of Japan, ah, makes sense. Japan has UTC plus 9, so I guess that one would have what, 10, 11? Micronesia, if you remember correctly. So I guess it's like in a group of islands kind of thing. Middle of the Pacific. Ah, I can kind of picture it now. I see. Halfway between the Philippines and Hawaii. Ah, there you go. That's how I imagine it. Thanks. Makes sense. Plus 14. My goodness. No wonder they're first. <laughs> So I guess that's the ex extent of time zone, huh? If you go farther to the east, you start going negative, is it? Kiribati? Wow, very different. Interesting. What language do they speak there? I bet they speak French, just like in Latvia. Too bad Rohan is here. <laughs> Mumbai bus. What is this? Is this a shoulder? This is a two-lane road. Seems too cramped for to be a two-lane. Well, we'll see soon enough. It is two-lane, I think. Guy with the track IR cap. Yeah, I would look very different, I think, outside. I, I don't wear caps outside. I only wear a cap because of track IR. Otherwise, I never wear a cap. I'm not a capy person at all. They speak the language of Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben should be our own version of Kappa. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a. If you guys can find a nice image of the Big Ben that we can make, we can turn into an emoji. A reaction let me know G give it to me in discord and i'll make it one we'll use that for our kappa <laughs> big ben we're only just getting used to him having ears pretty soon i'll have hair as well <laughs> gilbertis only has like 15 letters and t is pronounced like an S, so that's why Kiribas. Kiribas. Ah, I see, I see. Makes sense. Thanks, Enel. Nice info. Did you know that beforehand, or did you learn that because of flight sim? I think Kiribas um, got into people's radars mostly because of flight sim. <laughs> oh, it's the the chosen one. <laughs> For those who have flight sim, or for even those who have don't have it, how are you enjoying it? Faroese person, rare breed. Is there not a large population in the Faroe Islands? Does it have a career mode? It does not. There are plugins which simulate an economy system though. FS Economy is something I'm planning to get my hands on again. It's compatible for older simulators and now also compatible with the newest flight sim. So you can continue where you left off. And there you can be like in truck sim. You can take jobs, you can earn money, you can buy your own plane, start a company. Even build like establishments in airports so whenever someone would land at the airport you would earn something like monopoly you'd plop down a house in a hair and an airport something like that so very expansive you can gamify it as much as you want or you can keep it a simulation as much as you want for me i'd like it somewhere in between
business with New Zealand and Australia without overlapping weekend and holiday days. Yeah, very close time zones. Huh? Fifty thousand! Wow, fifty thousand only. How many people do we have in Singapore? Had two point four million, something like that. <clears throat> Goodness, fifty thousand! Yeah, that's small. And I am not sure how it goes in size, but I would imagine Singapore and Faroe Islands are a bit comparable in size. Or am I getting that completely wrong? I'm just basing this on the map I looked at in ETS two. You're a geography nerd. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I need you in the stream because I'm the complete opposite. Even in my own country, I suck at geography. Ah, finally a rest area. So we can continue at daytime. Sure thing, Andy. Yeah. The power of the these simulators are quite immense. They have the because they allow connecting to other third-party applications. The the possibilities are endless. So many add-ons possible. Five point eight million. My goodness. Just a tad off, huh? <laughs> Five point eight million versus fifty thousand people in the Faroe Islands. Five thousand in your city's next biggest. Wow, goodness. Can someone Google that up for me? Like geographically, how does the Faroe Islands compare with Singapore? In the Faroe Islands you only have fifty thousand people. In Singapore you have over five million. But how do they compare in terms of size? Thank you for following guys. Andy, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Oh, that's awesome. For those who just joined us, for those who just followed, welcome to the stream, guys. Feel free to say hi in chat so we can all give you a proper warm welcome. A warm hug. Maybe not a hug. <laughs> Need to keep social distancing. Tor Sabin. That sounds familiar. Second most densely populated country in the world. Oh, is it? No wonder when you go to malls, at least when you did go to malls before. It's so cramped. Singapore's land area is around 700 square kilometers. You check Kiribas. It has city named as London, Poland, Paris, and Banana. Really? <laughs> wow. Very creative naming there. Thanks for the follow, guys. Join us in chat if you're in the mood. Or feel free to lurk as well. More than welcome. I think that's the contactless option. Let's go for that. It's safer. Yeah, same here. I mostly am familiar with Faroe Islands because of Pro Mods. And because I go there every time I go from UK to Iceland. It looks pretty cool and uh, scenic though. It's like a nice place for a chill vibe. 95.8 square miles population density. Where Singapore has 20,000. Oh, okay. Wow. Alright, so that's fair. So quite different. So uh, Faroe Islands is super small, huh? Because Singapore itself is tiny compared to other countries. Wow. That's cool. Let's take a photo here. This looks nice. Nice lighting. Got something like 40 to 50 days of sunshine a year. Goodness, because they're way far up in the north. Gonna make sense. Lord of the Rings. Awesome. Oh, you have your own language as well. Cool. Awesome. 
Mustafa, thanks for joining us. Now, I don't want to go to Zagreb, so we'll have to reroute here. Oh, we're so far away from this place. Let's go just past Zagreb, maybe just pass through here. There you go. Something like that. As we go towards Lavonsky Brod. Starting to get the hang of this force feedback thing now. Very nice interchange here. Lots of looping, windy ramps and stuff. Just like something someone built in city skylines. loud guys I have to close it off there we go a bit more quiet because we are going to step on it now I use the G27 Logitech G27 there you go thanks Alex rains most days a little so when the sun is out, everybody goes out to enjoy it. Yeah, I found that interesting. When I first went to Europe with Mrs. Clumsy, we went during autumn. And uh, autumn, you get some days which are good, some days which are pretty cold, or pretty rainy or cloudy. But you, when you get some nice weather, people really go out and it was like... It, that kind of concept was a bit strange to me, a bit new to that because like when where I lived, most of the days will be sunny. There will be rainy days, there will be like typhoons and stuff like that, but overall like you would plan it on a like let's go out on a Thursday and that would be that. It wouldn't be like, oh, the weather is good today, let's go out. <laughs> so, like, it's, it's a very different like uh, <clears throat> very varied weather basically interesting G29 <clears throat> yeah G29 might be experiencing something that happened to similar to what G27 what happened to G27 before true force true force true force <laughs> you guys watch that video what do you call it? G9... What's the new wheel? G923 or something? <clears throat> Scenery looks better than ATS. ABS repellent. Um, it does depending on the, the map. Because ATS has amazing sights as well. So I think it all comes down to which place you are comparing. But I think both areas have their merit. Let's go with that look. Yeah, that is a bit more scenic. I like how we have like a subtle reflection of the clouds there. Speaking of reflections, I still can't believe it. <clears throat> the graphics and flights in 2020 and how my video card can handle all that stuff. The reflections in there are absolutely amazing. I was flying the other day, it was like sunset or sunrise. So the sun was on the east. And it was reflecting off my like windshield on the left, on the left side, and reflecting off me like, oh my goodness, it just looked so real. Not sure how they do that and how my graphics card can handle it because in terms of load, it's almost the same load on my GPU here right now. <clears throat> Would reshade get rid of that darkness? Hmm. That's a good point. I'm not sure how to disable that auto exposure thing. I do remember before when we when we were using an older NPI profile inspector anti-aliasing tweak, old compatibility bits. This auto exposure thing was not happening. Like it disabled that, and that's the main reason why we are getting that brightness issue because of the difference in brightness of the skies the sky is too bright that's why when you look at it it has to adjust the exposure and as a result everything else gets dark 
And when you look down, it goes back to normal. But I think in the next update, um, in the next update, uh, Damien, the creator of um, Project Next Gen, will be fixing that, he said. So hopefully that will become a thing. So he will probably lessen the brightness of those skies. But yeah, I don't think it can be fixed with reshade alone. Man, that's very quiet engine sounds, huh? Interesting. Uh, Tonerists stand with their their mouth wide open in shock. In winter clothes, while our just Viking girls are <laughs> pretty much used to cold, huh? Yeah, I'll probably need layers and layers of it if I ever go there. Good luck, Andy. G920 wheels still in production. I would guess not. The darkness made PNG unplayable for you. Yeah, I can imagine. It does get very weird at times. Like, like, why is it getting this dark? Like, there is that effect in real life, but it shouldn't be that much. So I hope with the next version we get that fixed. I, that's my main gripe with it as well. The skies are beautiful. They're not, there are not as many sky boxes. The quality is great. It's not like super high res, but I don't have complaints with it. Like that sky, it's nice enough for me. But yeah, it's the brightness adjustment that's really changing stuff. Why is it so quiet, really? Let's put the windows down like that just a bit so, so there's something. G920 is the Xbox one. Yes, correct. What's, what's the true force model? G923? <laughs> that gamer muscle guy is absolutely hilarious. I started watching his videos. Quite interesting take on things. A bit on the wild side. <laughs> true force. <laughs> it's still, I still remember the beat. <laughs> oh my goodness. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go and check out the Discord server exclamation point discord in the truck sim channel i shared that video from him like a review or first impressions or something opinion on the g923 but it's not uh, it's not your simple commentary it's actually a song a rap more like very creative guy didn't expect that at all when i started watching the video I was just looking for more in for inputs on how good the new wheel is. I heard it's very expensive compared to the older wheels. Does anyone know how much more expensive? <laughs> G923 Gamer Muscle Edition. Yeah, I started watching one of his recent videos. I think he got a lot of flack because he was quote-unquote promoting Orbex products. Orbex is a th third-party developer for sceneries and they have products from the first day of Microsoft Flight Sim release. Add some airports, they add buildings to London. But the, the London City add-on specifically a lot of people were complaining about the quality and I think he praised the quality Gamer Muscle did or something so people were uh, telling him that he was a... Uh, what was the term he used? Shill? Uh, I'm not familiar with the term but I'm assuming that means like a sellout and I love his comment on it like his video on it <laughs> Like he was saying, if he was going to be like a sellout, then he would have accepted that um, that uh, insult that he was a sellout for Microsoft for Flight Simulator itself, not for a third-party developer. Because apparently Microsoft flew him over all the way to Seattle, I think, from where he is in the UK, I assume. Flew him booked him in a hotel and everything just so he can play the simulator in advance and so he was saying if I'm going to be a sellout I'm going to be a sellout for those guys who are treating me that good 
it's like, and he says this in a very yeah he's a very funny guy very entertaining interesting just went to look for Brutus prices are yeah it's restaurant level that's why we cannot go there as much as we want we have to really uh, we have to really time it I recommend getting the Quattro Formaggi the 4 cheese pizza it's so good super salty because of all the cheese in there <clears throat> Zagreb straight ahead there are, aren't any branches that are not oh so all those branches are in the east interesting I see owners must be from the east I guess huh here in the US the 923 is equal in price to the Thrustmaster T300 RS that T300 RS is that like a high-end Thrustmaster wheel because Thrustmaster has a very wide range of products right for all the way from starting starter simulator equipment to super enthusiasts so from a couple of hundred to a couple of thousand Formaggi ah interesting okay thanks Quattro Formaggi I've been wondering about that for the longest time thanks for confirming it Windsock looks like we have powerful crosswinds in here I wish that would get implemented in this sim, the wind effect, so that what Jack said could become a thing, like the truck could actually get blown to the other lane because of the wind. That would be great physics. Yeah, that's I think my favorite uh, pizza flavor. I'm not sure which part in Italy has that. I'm sure it's like local to one of the places only, not found anywhere else. Have to slow down a bit here, the bends are a bit sharp. Maggie? The Maggie I know is that like how do you say seasoning? That's like soy sauce kind of thing. That's not really soy sauce. It used to be my favorite when I was a kid. <laughs> Put that on everything. Oh no. I like how the force feedback is varied though. The farther you turn the wheel, the stronger the pressure gets. I actually am starting to like this now. I'm not sure if they changed it. Or if it's been this way ever since. Maggie's noodles. Maggie's also a brand, at least in the Philippines. I think we also have it in Singapore. But is Maggie like an Indian word? A lot of restaurants in Singapore actually serve American style pizza and pasta. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> right, pizza is pizza basically from Singaporean point of view, from Asian point of view. Ay, 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 ay. It's a bit fast for this road. We live right by a university which has an Italian resto. It sells pretty decent pizza. Pretty cheap. Wow. That is pretty cheap. That's perfect. Hey, Sunset. You're from Turkey, you mean? Welcome. Thanks for joining. We are currently in. I would say Croatia but you guys will correct me I'm sure if I got that wrong the highway didn't have a shoulder because the shoulder became a right lane for trucks to climb ah interesting like a runaway truck lane or uh, a ramp 
joining the highway. You have to be very careful with these highways. Can't just go 80 full stop. Not sure if this is like this in real life, but I assume so. Some sections of I-5 North in California trucks are also allowed to use the shoulder to climb hills. Oh crap! I have to occupy the other lane. Thankfully no one was there. Ah, I see because they climb slower so they can take the shoulder. That's an interesting concept. Is there a proper name for that kind of lane? Climbing lane. <laughs> Truck lane. Makes sense. Next stop, Kiribati. <laughs> Why not? Maggie is a noodles brand by Nestle. Ah, that's the one. I think that's the one. They also have this sauce, I think, if I remember correctly. Like Nor. Nor and Maggie. This truck has a very powerful engine brake. Not even tapping on the brakes there and we slowed down so much. Crawling lane. That sounds apt. Let's call it that way. Very nice highways here. In the US it's mostly just referred to as truck lane. Makes sense. Trucks use it after all. Dedicated lane for slow climbers. Maggie has sauce and ketchup. Ah, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> for Maggie. I've been wondering about that for the longest time. How about the place? Hud. Is it called Genova? I assume it's Genova, like Germany, no, not Genova. Genova sounds more correct. I am originally from the Philippines. <clears throat> the pickup trucks get to use it too. Yeah, I wonder who is authorized to use it. I guess it's not like the most sought after lane <laughs> because <laughs> you would have a lot of slow pokes in there basically so I don't know if they even need to like regulate who can go there or not G in Italian before E is pronounced like the G oh that's a very nice rule that's easy to understand and easy to remember it's great that there is such a rule do you know if Italian is a lot of accent? Oh, let me try and gather my words for a bit. <laughs> Do you know if in Italian you also have a lot of exceptions, like in English, where it's like exception is the norm, and the norm is the exception? <laughs> Some languages actually know how to stick to their rules. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. very nice i like the constant shaking of the wheel kind of gives you an impression that you're really moving and uh, it's kind of feedback on the road I get to feel it more when i'm turning the, the the road here turning on the road here we're currently learning italian italian pronunciation no italian pronunciation is very regular that's the way i like it yeah, that's the way as well in Tagalog. We call it spell as pronounced. And the way you pronounce things is very straightforward. There's almost always only one way to say something. I'm Christian. tend to learn a few 
languages at the same time. So Italian, Dutch, and Tagalog for now. Nice. Our linguistics expert. Glad to have you here. Ciao. Have a good one, Rex. Rex, sir. In Italian, they actually pronounce most things. French, though, this is why I have such trouble with French. Speaking of French, in the Stacking Benjamins podcast I was mentioning the other day, uh, a while ago, they have this like trivia sessions from time to time, and there was a tri- trivia question about like the most visited museum. And it turns out to be the Louvre, but because they make fun of everything. And because it's French, right? They make fun of the pronunciations of Louvre. Like, oh, I think it's the L that's uh, silent. So it's like, ouvre, ouvre. <laughs> and all the combinations you can think of. Those guys are hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, talks about how, how French like their silent pronunciations. learned French for two years. You know, nice. <clears throat> Chow is used in so many languages, I think. Did I get lost? Why am I getting that road back to the back? Did I miss a turn or something? Apparently I did. Uh, yeah, looks like I went the wrong way through here, maybe? Hmm, well, that's not good. Yes, I think it always had that brightness issue. Actually, not sure. I'm sh- I think the paid version has it. I'm not sure if the, the... The version 2, the old version, the freeware one has it as well. I would assume so. stop learning that's good never stop learning comfortable level already that's nice you can converse already it's the important thing no wonder this looks familiar let's try not get lost a second time Lufus Museum, I, th- I think it's close enough. The Ouvre. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Some of your thoughts are in French before English. Wow, that had level already. Nice. What got you interested in French again? I think you told me about this before. Yeah, this one. This is the classic brightness issue in PNG. Which is a bit of a shame because it's great otherwise. Because of that we have to pay the toll again or... I see an opening. Sneaky, sneaky turn. Oh crap. Trailer damage didn't hit anything. There we go. <laughs> Cheat. <laughs> uh, some Filipino driving there. There's a gap. I can make it through. A truck outside. There you go. A bit of the darkness issue. There you go. Oh no. But let's make sure we make it right. This one. That's illegal. No such thing. See, I didn't get a ticket. Calling 
911. No one will answer. I don't think they, I don't think they have 911 here. Maybe they have a different number. <laughs> trying a lot of mods last week so much fun trying to get them all to work together so it's not <laughs> ah, the beautiful world of modding I know right your virtual license is virtually suspended <laughs> does that mean I get to fly more <laughs> oh no decided to take it in freshman year of high school oh crap stay here one sec huh yeah absolutely loved it planning on taking it all four years nice are you planning on going to France or Latvia eventually so you can use that? A pro gamer move. No, that was very realistic. That's what real drivers on a schedule do. They find ways. outside camera with code difficult I'm not sure I got that can you rephrase <laughs> that's Spanish for one year vamos a la playa what is that let's go to the beach France, not Latvia. <laughs> All right, on to the right. I think I got through this time. Maybe we'll see. There we go. Mr. 75 himself. How have you been, man? Been flying anywhere? I'd love to live in a country where national sport is going on strike. <laughs> Yikes. I was flying just now. I can imagine. Where have you been? Did you see your house yet? <clears throat> I think we've been here before. We haven't gone past that place where I got, uh, got lost yet. was an additional 0.14 oh interesting so it's like goodness yeah I think they added that recently GST you remember I made an announcement on Patreon for that for those who were in the who are patrons already some of them depending on the country might get additional tax Zero tolerance for the cent. <laughs> Update for Microsoft Flight Sim will be coming on the twenty seventh. Ooh, what's going what's it going to include? That's exciting. Hopefully a lot of fixes. Day one fixes. Is it not hard to read? chat and drive it is 
That's why we have a lot of clumsy driving moments. Okay, here we go again. It is quite difficult. But sometimes I can manage, oftentimes I cannot. <laughs> Photo time, uh, let's skip it. Let's try to not get lost first. Okay, this one, we turn off here because I'm sure we'll be needing this one. We'll turn off on the clover leaf junction here. Yeah, Jay doesn't have a hard time at it. He never crashes. <laughs> it was an accident, but luckily the protest was for a good cause. <clears throat> awesome. Thanks, Rohan. We'll read up on it afterwards. Never crashed, zero deaths. <laughs> oh, we're in Zagreb now. Nice. Does that mean we have to slow down? Zagreb is the capital, is it? Croatia? This has been remade. Not sure which exact parts. I'm liking the scale of it though. There we go, there's a Pro Mods logo in there. It's a visual bug. It's always their fault. Never mind. <laughs> yes, it's the capital. Thank you. Hey, Techwood Pro. Nice name. Thanks for joining the stream and thanks for joining chat. How are you? Mediterranean or Atlantic coast. Both are beautiful, but you prefer the style of houses. It's like Brittany. Rather than... Oh, how do you read that? Oh, no. <laughs> Is that how you read it? Did I get it right? <laughs> we actually have a French guy in our community as well, if I remember correctly. Silver Wolf, right? remember currently he is from France I can't remember which one where, where exactly let's go and stop by this logo see what it says ah keep calm and ride the dirt racer toft I guess he's the developer here nice nice signature there I like it when you have that kind of signature Oh, that crash was so hard on the force feedback. <laughs> this game really discourages you from crashing. Ouch. I think Jack sabotaged me with that force feedback setting. <laughs> Coat Dazur. Did I get it right? Côte d'Azur. <laughs> That's how French I am. There we go. Spoken like a true Latvian. Like a local. <clears throat> Arianus will be proud of me. I think he works in Latvia, right? Even though he is from Israel originally, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One sec. Oh, I think that's right. Yes. Imagine someone stopping in there before the junction, before the turn, in a highway like this, in a truck. None. <laughs> Nothing other than a truck. 
that was very close <laughs> I think that was a very close French pronunciation with the thickest Filipino accent <clears throat> in my language we would call that Carabao English when you speak with a super thick accent and the, the V she pronounces B in the the F she pronounces P Carabaos are animals, local animals in the Philippines like farm animals, no, no, no um, farm animal it helps you plow the field so it's a hard worker, it's like um, oh, what is this, what is it in other language? buffalo? or something like that maybe but it's very Filipino so it's like Filipino English when you have like a super strong accent and not only the accent but your pronunciation of the letters the phrases are also not quite as how they are intended to be Carabao English Thanks for following Tech with Pro. Appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. And thanks for joining us in chat. You're bad at French. Glad I'm not the only one. I don't think you can even classify my French as bad. There's just no French. I don't do French. Perfect. the horn like crazy at people like them all the people who stop at the highway my goodness brake check struggled with french in school is that a new color rohan did you take up french in school well, that's interesting that there's even french there i think i had an option of taking an elective of french never got it though yeah Tagalog is very formal. We, we hardly do that. Actually, me and Mrs. Clumsy, we talk in like almost pure Tagalog when we're outside, when we don't want anyone else to understand us. Like when we know that there is no Filipino in the vicinity, then we speak Tagalog to each other. We don't use the normal language, which is combining Filipino and English words together. So we use pure Tagalog so that it's harder to decipher, basically. <laughs> and oftentimes we would use words that we wouldn't normally use and it sounds so strange. And sometimes we would laugh at each other. Really? You use that word? <laughs> what are you? Like 150? <laughs> like it's a very old school way of uh, talking. New caller, new you. Why not? Alright, NL, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us and sharing your Frenchiness. <laughs> Enjoy Latvia. <laughs> Catch you soon. Is PNG close to release? I don't think so, to be honest. I, I heard rumors that he's planning on a public release on this one. I have not really talked to him about it. Although I doubt it. I mean, I guess he will eventually release it for free. But I doubt that will be coming anytime soon. I think this will remain payware for the coming months. You've listened to pure formal Tagalog like on news newscasters. Your ear could pick out a lot of Spanish words. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've worked with some folks from Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, they speak Spanish. They probably have their own accent and stuff, but they speak Spanish. And um, so I think I, it was in Cincinnati where we met. And I had a Filipino colleague with me, so we would talk in Filipino, we would talk in Tagalog. And my Costa Rican colleague would like be able to like, are you guys... I notice you have a lot of like Spanish, Spanish and English words in there. So like, yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> Lots of influence. So he can somehow like decipher some of the 
words and then he can like do context uh, clues to get the meaning of the conversation the flow so you can understand some of it formal proper language before mixing it up yeah i'm not actually sure how they teach filipino It'd be interesting because yeah when you start with something then you don't really need to learn it formally we did have tagalog um or filipino classes before in school back in the day but i don't think yeah i, I guess that's true i guess we were taught proper formal tagalog which we never really use fully but uh, yeah it's good to know as a starting point i hate that clicking thing and i'm not sure if it's with my wheel motor but i don't get that in force feedback plugin so i guess it's with the force feedback in game at a certain angle it would just click <clears throat> that guy seemed like he didn't want to move so i didn't want to tailgate him in case i had to switch lanes <clears throat> Going back on the flight sim, truck sim intersect topic, a while ago I was sharing in Discord and I was telling Alex and Jack, the guys over in Jack's stream, I was looking for that, if you guys remember I made a video on one of the dangerous roads in Chihuahua, it's a place called Urique I think, that's how you pronounce it very windy roads very scenic sites mountains all over the place and then there is uh, the but the most unique thing is there is actually an airport or maybe i should say a runway merged into the actual town so like the main road of the town serves as a, an airstrip as well as a runway so i guess planes would land there or could land there technically and so that's what I tried to do. And in Flight Sim, it's amazing because you have the whole world at your fingertips. What I did was I went to Google Maps. I looked for Urique. I clicked somewhere random near there. So I got the GPS coordinates, you know, like that, all the decimal points. So I copied that, pasted it in the search function inside Flight Sim in the map. And it led me to that exact spot. And I could put that as my starting point so it's just a matter of copying the gps coordinates from maps pasting it in the sim and you're there and so when i spawned in the sim urike was right beside me and i i saw the runway the windy runway and stuff and i was able to land marginally like a few feet away from the house <laughs> the end of the runway but I managed it and I was able to take off from there as well and it looked so good the vicinity was so good so I think what I'll do is I'll make a proper formal video maybe not formal a uh, proper video on it and I'll tour you guys around because it is super breathtaking not only the mountains all over the place the entire structure but also the weather because it does seem pretty cloudy like you have some pretty low cloud cover in there and it's just a sight to behold it's scenic anywhere you look and so nice to try and land elsewhere like anywhere you can where there is like a flat enough surface like how we landed in the grand canyon in the previous stream <laughs> inside the actual canyon we're almost here you even saw your school in flight say oh that's nice Maybe your teacher was waving at you. Sorry. That's why uh, sometimes it's hard to read and drive at the same time. In the near future, you'll be upgrading your CPU. AMD. i5-7600. I'm not really familiar with the Intel stuff. But yes, AMD for the win. For CPU. Urique International Airport. Oh, yes. Yes. That is so good. And yeah. No wonder Team Reforma is working on Chihuahua and the area because it seems to have so scenic mountainous routes. And it would be nice to do like a continuous trip 
starting something off in flight sim, continuing off in truck sim or the other way around. Merging those two sims together. So if you know of some scenic sites in truck sim, let me know and I'll see if I can paste them together in flight sim. Do like a back to back delivery kind of thing. Although I guess the cargo from the trucks would fit in the plane, seeing as my planes that I fly at the moment are super small GA aircraft, general aviation aircraft, probably fitting only like four people, <laughs> we'll try to fit in as much as we can. Yeah, I'm loving that. That's one of my things I'm most excited the most, merging those two sims. <clears throat> there we go. I think I will also be changing the not really changing but this is probably what you've been seeing already but i'll be trying to go in a bit more depth rather than breadth in terms of simulators so i might be featuring less sims but i'll be focusing on more details in each sim that i focus on like truck sim so more focus on mods all the happenings flight sim same but as a result, I might not be able to spend as much time with other games or sims. So uh, yeah, well, I'll have to pick. Right, let's turn on the music here. Uh, we've done that trip. That was a nice one. Definitely enjoyed the new Dubrovnik area, even if we have not been able to discover Dubrovnik itself. He will never share his location except that he's from the US. <laughs> Yeah, top secret location. I think he lives in Area 51. Livery SPAC. What is the livery SPAC? Is that the freebie for Flight Sim? The Big Ben is ready. I'll have a look. Let's take a short break here. <laughs> yes! Yes, definitely. Thanks, man. So uh, stay tuned for that Big Ben emoji, guys. That will be our new Kappa emoji. And for those who are in the loop, you will understand what it means. And now for those who are not, that will be good enough to be in the know in the community. <laughs> hey, Kabayan, Musta. Thanks for joining. How do I pronounce your name? Exfabiate. Watch MSFS vids on YouTube and sub. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for following as well. Awesome stuff. I am absolutely loving flight sim. Cannot help but squeeze that in whatever I'm talking about. <laughs> as you guys might be able to tell. Alright. So I'm looking at the Pro Mods blog here. It looks like there is an update in Hungary and Northern Balkans as well. So... Actually, maybe it's best if I show the image right now. There you go. So if you look for Hungary, don't ask me which flag it is. I'm very bad at it, but you find it for yourself. Um, 250 focuses on Western Hungary, including the border with Austria. Okay, I know that much. It's a t city of Zombathli. Oh my goodness, <laughs> probably butchered that. <laughs> Zombatli. <laughs> Sounded a bit Korean <laughs> from that way. Uh, there we go, I found it. Zombatli is here. So that's unreal. That's what we can discover. What else? Um, in the town of Sumeg with its hilltop castle. I remember someone actually sent me how to pronounce stuff in Hungarian, some rules, but of course I forgot by now. I do have it in my notes though, I remember I copy-pasted his comment, so I'll have to study that again. As well as the view of Sumeg Castle, Hungary developer Eriman highlights the scenery towns of Papa, Sarvar, and Vesprem, Vesprem to look for while driving through the new areas. Okay, so this looks like a new area right here. So let's try and find a way through there. We are pretty close. That's good. Good. 
Let, let me get back to chat because I see it's moving. The free skins with all the commercial flight skins. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Is that available in the marketplace now? I'll download it in the, in the after the stream. Red, white, and green flag. Red, white, and green. Oh, okay, yes, I see. In the lower left, uh, second from the bottom in terms of row and column. Is that the one? Actually, I'm, I don't see the image. The image is very small for me because I'm only looking at the preview. So, <laughs> yeah, I think so, maybe. <laughs> Hungary is the one with the sumeg. Don't even know the Europe flags. <laughs> hey, bot. How are you, man? What have you been up to these days? You had to reset Windows 10. Wow, extreme, huh? But glad you fixed it. What was the problem? All right, um, what else? Start with brand new Istrian Peninsula. Istria lies mostly in Croatia, but also includes Slovenia's short coastline in the tiny part of Italy. The two largest cities on peninsula are functional in-game Pula, Croatia. Can you see that? Pula in Tagalog in Filipino is red. Color red. But I doubt that's how you pronounce it here. Um, with its Roman amphitheater in Koper, Koper, in Slovenia, the country's largest coastal city. You guys see it? Well, you, you see a very limited amount based on my... Ah, I see it, I see it. Here, here. I'll show you there. We actually missed it because we came from Dubrovnik here, we could have stick to the coast and explored some more. Oh, dang it. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll not be able to sh see that right now. Okay. What else? Uh, Slovenia. Prolific Balkans developer Septian PJ has done a stunning job. You'd be forgiven for thinking that everything in Slovenia was 100% new content. The entirety of Slovenia has seen some sort of upgrade in 250. Oh, that's great. Uh, you'll have to remind me, guys, where is Slovenia exactly, though. Let's go to Cargo Market here. Something in Windows 10. Slovenia is right there. Okay, so we, first we go to Hungary, pass through Sumeg and Sombathli, and then we'll try to pass through Slovenia and make our way to the Koper and Pula areas if we can. As much as time would allow. Bulgaria. It's not somewhere we want to go right now. That one does work, but not really. That can work. You know what? Maybe let's just drive there. I don't think we need a job anyway. We just, just go there. There, there. 29.56. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. And that was not even at full speed. We had to slow down a couple of times. So I had to gear up and gear down multiple times there. So let's go through here. Let's go past there. Go through here. There, there, there. <laughs> Very professional. And then let's go through there. And let's go to Slovenia. If I can remember where that is. Ljubljana. That one looks, yeah, that is all rebuilt. You can see all the gray areas, the gray roads. And then pass through Copper and Pula. Yeah, probably not going to work 1,000 kilometers. But we'll just tour along, enjoy the road. What time is it, guys? Um, 8 o'clock. Might be best if we sleep first. Let's go and find the rest area. Oh my goodness, all the all the faces. Just wait till Big Ben is there. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's it shouldn't be. <laughs> Thank you for pointing it out. <laughs> there you go. As always I forget. Alright, we are back. Bob Ross had itchy legs too. <laughs> itchy legs, my goodness.
So we can sleep, I think, here. There we go. Rest area coming up ahead. Pixel Bob. <clears throat> so any news on the trucking world? Or has everyone been busy, even the modders? Have they been busy with flight sim? Does anyone have news about the controversial stuff as well with the paint job from the Freightliner FLC from XPS? It's a bit of a sad turn of events there. Not sure what that implies but it doesn't sound very good at the moment. Haven't been trucking for a very long time. Workload is crazy I can imagine. School can be pretty hectic. <laughs> No, I haven't yet. Yeah, let them know about that. Have they finally uh, gone head to head with that? Because I know there's been violent reactions of what Promos 250 covers. Because understandably, it covers some areas, quite a number of areas in Row X. And that's a bit of a. Yeah, I don't know how to position myself there. It's nothing illegal, nothing mm, that is not allowed, but should you do it? I don't know. Who did I hit now? I guess that guy on the right sideswiped him. Colorado. Oh, I haven't seen that blog post yet. How does it look? Yeah. Soft and Arayas. Well, I think they are very two very opinionated people, and so when they have opposite opinions, then they would uh, most definitely clash. But yeah, it's just their personality. I don't think they really hate each other. They're really just very strong, uh, opinionated people. So lots of clashes can occur. Arias has been known to be very honest, very transparent when it comes to sharing his views. So that can be quite a point of contention for some people. <clears throat> they were only posting it on Roex forum, but now they brought it to SES forum. Okay. So what were they saying and what did Mandelsoft say? That uh, like burping sound, Clark. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Yes, that is apparently how uh, an actress really sounds like when shifting. It's weird, I know, but it's the real thing, apparently. <laughs> yeah, very passionate people. And it really shows you the differences in culture as well. Personal and cultural differences, like... As a Filipino, we don't, we seldom have people who have that kind of personality, very strong, willed, confrontational kind of attitude. We don't often, we rarely have those kinds of personalities in the Filipino culture. We have been known to try and avoid confrontations as much as possible. <clears throat> so this kind of. Uh, uh, personality is very new to me but yeah I understand it because it's it's where we live I mean it's how we are different from each other so I understand it but I would definitely not be doing that myself I would go a bit more on the what do you say um, I'm not 
much for how to phrase it. Politically correct approach, let's say. Trying to share my thoughts in a less direct way, more subtle, more mm, accepted manner, maybe. <clears throat> so what have you heard about this? Um, what are they saying about pro mods in the ROX forums? What have you guys been reading? I have not been able to uh, catch up with it, unfortunately. I know there are a lot of pro mods haters there. And uh, yeah, we all have our own likes and dislikes, so I don't fault anyone for not liking pro mods. Everyone is free to have their own opinions about it. But I am quite curious what they don't like and I like to hear their side of things. Point X was making was pro mods was invading their map locations. Such, yeah, mapping areas that are in row X. Although pro mods was first to release those places. Invading their map mod, right? The less said, the better. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. You can definitely understand where they're coming from, though. I mean, I can understand where they're coming from. I get the frustration there. You worked so hard to develop an area, and even though it's not, uh, it's not really prohibited to cover the same areas. It's a bit of a like, dude, I'm here already. You know. So if you take it from that point of view, from the developer, the map author's point of view then it can be seen as a, as a slight to him, even though it's not really prohibited. It's like a, let's say, an official bro code, let's say. But yeah, it's not uh, prohibited and they're not really working together so they can do their own stuff. But yeah, that will definitely cause conflicts. For sure. I knew pro mod, I, I sh I'm sure pro mods knew that coming in. And they just didn't mind. So they're happy enough dealing with that. So as long as they can uh, display their creative freedom. So I, I, I think, in my opinion, it's a, it's a conscious choice that they did. And they don't mind the, the blowback, if any, that comes out of it. There's only so much land on Earth. Roex shouldn't have ownership over one particular area, in your opinion. <clears throat> that's a good point. Yeah, that's a valid point as well. You can't really call dibs on an area. That's true. But uh, yeah, when you work so hard for something, and someone overlaps it with their areas, it's kind of uh, a slight to you. Especially if you're very opinionated, so I can imagine where he's coming from. I think both sides have their... Uh, like, both sides have a point, for sure. But yeah, it's just a problem, because how do we move forward for this, from this? And for now, I don't think there is a way forward to have both maps in there. So I think for now... It's like I have to live with separate profiles if you want both of them enabled. Hey Mister. Morning in India. Yes indeed. Thanks for joining. Glad you made it. It's about to start yoga. Oh thanks man, appreciate it. Enjoy your practice. Hope it's calming and uh, meditative. Man I miss practicing yoga. It's been a while since I did. I remember the feeling it gave me afterwards. So good. Good workout not only for the body but also for the mind. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Hud. So it's like, uh, 
it's not really prohibited to do what they did <laughs> overlap an area but it's like you know there's someone working on that already and you're consciously making you're making the choice that you want to make that as well because you probably believe you can do better you don't like what how it was portrayed or something along those lines and naturally that will uh, hurt some feelings so i think it's really a conscious choice and at this point i guess promos doesn't really mind it because they work in their within their own team and if others want to make their map mods compatible then it's up to them but pro mods does not have like a responsibility to make it compatible with other map mods although it would be great if map mods could work together for sure that will work for the betterment of everybody did i just loop around and do stuff what did i do but why does it feel like we've been here before Maybe I took the wrong exit there, huh? <laughs> oh, hello, thank you. Beautiful night. Good evening. Are you from France by any chance? Le Petit Bus. How, how, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> Sorry, we were talking about French a uh, couple of minutes ago and uh, I just said that I suck at French. I don't know how to read them at all. So you'll have to help me out how to pronounce your name, if that is French at all. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, let's make sure we take the right exit this time, hopefully. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, stop making me pronounce French. <laughs> is almost 5 a.m. in France supposedly. Is it the silent S? I never know which one should be silent. Yes Space Hunter that's the sad news about it and I don't blame any thing because Roex has been very accommodating with that for the fans. They keep adjusting so pro mods will do something and because pro mods is like the leading map mod and a couple of requests are coming in to make it compatible raw x compatible with pro mods so arias does his stuff to make it compatible alters some roads changes the stuff and that road connections and stuff but with this kind of like from his point of view i'm sure it's like a foul move I doubt he'd be encouraged to continue doing adjustments. So at the end of the day, it's going to be a loss for the community because we won't have both map mods compatible with each other anymore. It's such a shame. I still wish we can find a, find a way forward for this, but at this point, I don't know how. At this point, it does sound like irreconcilable differences kind of thing absolutely sucks but I get both points of view <clears throat> hey Como thanks for joining the stream thanks Jay if you'd like to share your opinion feel free all right Rexer have a good night thanks for joining Glad to have someone from the islands, Faroe Islands, how do you call it, Faroe Islands. And you're at your window, smoking at almost 5am. <laughs> and the bat just flew in front of you, my goodness, so scary. I hate those kinds of things. You woke up with your neighbors to so really madly scream. In this community, we call it the Grey Mother Stream. That's when you scream in a very manly voice. Oh, that way, that's the Grey Mother scream. <laughs> Do they sound believable? I don't think so. Ah, we are from Denmark. Como? Esta? Oh no, I, think, I don't think that's Danish. <laughs> Close enough. How are you? Thanks for joining. Yeah, I will miss having Roex and Pro mods together. Same with me. That sucks.
<laughs> that's true Wombat will be the real uh, loser in this thing because he will not be able to combine those maps the master combiner himself I hope he finds a way and I will just follow his lead yeah when it comes to map combos you can't get any better than Wombat <laughs> me back welcome back Skull is that like uh, cheers? I think so. I think I hear that from like the the series I watch, like Viking series I watch. It's a really manly scream. But uh, going back to that topic, it's uh, yeah, that's one of my pet peeves as well. The creatures, as I would call them, that come um, sneaking into the house, sneaking into the home. Mrs. Clumsy always laughs at me at that because like the birds would sometimes be hanging out in the balcony so the, the balcony has like a railing in there right and they would like hang out there at times and normally it would be fine with me but they always uh, poop all over the place so it, I, I end up having to clean up after them so nowadays when someone tries to land in the railings I shoo them away like <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Clumsy would always because we works we work side by side, right? Oh, train. These days we work side by side, well, back and front, however you call it. And when she hears me do the <laughs> thing, she would always laugh. She would get surprised first and then she would laugh at me because I would be fending off the creatures. And the same goes with any insect in the house, like a lizard or a. Oh. Hopefully not a cockroach, but, uh, but yeah, when creatures are there, I'm the guy in charge of getting them away. <laughs> My battles with the creatures have been far and wide. From Portugal, hey for King, awesome stuff guys, thank you for joining, very early birds. It's also 5 a.m. there, I assume. <clears throat> that, was, that was nowhere close to Grey Mother, maybe a few octaves lower than the Grey Mother, how many octaves are there? Maybe four octaves lower. <laughs> you have a map combo now for ETS2 from Mombat. What does it include? Raw X is behind the paywall, which means without buying the mod, author. Dang it! Other authors cannot test it, or someone has to ask them to provide a copy to test it and all. By the support needed to make it compatible with other map mods. Well, Roex is always adjusting to other map mods, but mainly pro mods. Um, has there been an attempt to like reach out to him and try and work things out? Because I, I don't know, I think there is this level of uh, like lack of communication. That's just from my point of view, but of course, I don't know what's happening. If there is an effort to reach out to other map makers, <clears throat> because I'm sure if it's a matter of working together, even if it's behind the paywall, he would be. Well, that's my guess. So I'm only assuming he would be willing to share that stuff. We'll go again. All right, stay safe, Como. Have a good one. Catch you next time. Thanks for dropping by. When is my birthday? I'm a Valentino, Feb 14. Yeah, sometimes they dance. The viewers dance for the streamer. They record themselves and they, they post videos of them dancing. <laughs> or they give a huge tip. You never react to creatures, yeah. Yeah, like spiders and stuff, huh? Yeah, I know. Never do the grey mother vo voice either. Cockroaches. Oh, hey, hey, those guys. Can't say their name because they might hear. You're not afraid of creatures. Just when they go past your head. I am, I, I am admittedly, I am afraid of creatures. I don't like them. Ah, Portugal's in UK time, I see. I thought it was the same as in the rest of uh, mainland Europe. 
Hey Azim, glad you made it here to this stream. How have you been? Still having problems with uh, what was that you were posting in Discord? In the SES forums, maybe someone can also post it here. Yeah, for the and so everyone is updated with the discussions. I mean, if it's in public like that, then it should be it should be visible to everybody anyway. A night butterfly <laughs> trying to prove if you're not really scared of creatures. No worries, I see. Did a dance once? Did I? Oh my goodness! I think I tried hard to forget that. I goldfished memory out of that immediately. Hey Deso, glad to hear it, man. What videos are you making now? Trucking? It's great to hear. Enjoy the journey. It's amazing. I learned so much stuff. Not only with recording itself, but everything. Customer service, marketing, content creation stuff. It's cool. Goldfish memory being passed on to you. Next week, we'll do a live stream again on Flight Sim. Wednesday. <clears throat> we have a problem with the FLC blinkers. Oh yeah, that's the one. Not sure how to help you there though. Not sure why you get that problem. Could be a conflict with some other map mod. What sounds are you getting, if any? Time's almost up. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Good catch. Thank you for following. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you are new, you are more than welcome to join the Discord. Exclamation point Discord gets you there. So you are in the know of the happenings, the updates, and the rumors, and the uh, funky stuff that we go through in the community. See you there. ETS2 with gauges on your Android tablet. That's cool. With the telemetry server, right? Yeah, I do the same thing. This overlay you see on the lower left of the screen, that's from the telemetry server. I made the skin and then I'm showing it as a browser source in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost went into the barrier and almost made a gray mother voice there. <clears throat> Sleep for the next two hours. Sounds like a good move. Have a good night. Catch you in Discord. And I'll try to pronounce that name much more accurately next time. But uh, is it Silent S? Lipetip. <clears throat> Macro. <laughs> the race for the Discord tag. Okay, let's go and stop here. In the next rest area, I see someone com something coming up ahead as we cross over to Hungary. Oh, too bad we didn't get to explore the new areas in Hungary. But yeah, guys, in terms of the channel, I'm really sorry if you're only into the trucking simulator. Because I think we will have m most of the vids coming as flight sim uh, for now. We'll still have these weekly truck sim vids, but... As much as possible, I'm super hooked with flight sim. So hopefully we get into that more. But yeah, just a heads up. And if you have some other like particular requests, let me know. I, I can't promise to fulfill them, but uh, yeah, at least I know and I can put that in the list. And I know that someone is looking forward to it. Otherwise, I do stuff that I think would be... Where I would think I would be the most enthusiastic. <laughs> Alright, sorry I missed some messages guys. I think we'll call it here. Thank you for joining. Has so, it has been a great stream for me. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys and uh, talking about all kinds of topics. Bowing for the next stream. <laughs> if they fix the autopilot, sure. <clears throat> Have a good night. Thanks everybody. Have a great weekend and catch you everyone on Discord. No, I am Filipino.
living in Singapore. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye bye. And uh, looking forward to the Big Ben emotes in Discord. <laughs> Let's Big Benitize it. <laughs> Thanks and goodbye, guys. Looking forward to next Thursday as well. We'll see how that goes. Thanks and goodbye.